We're back with the rice experiment, and here again, this is the rice we've hated. Yeah, hated, ignored, and loved. Yeah, notice the loved rice is actually in really good shape. I shake it around, it's still pretty brown, it's still actually pretty good. The ignored rice is all pumped together, I can't even move it. <laughs> yeah, and the hate rice. Oh my gosh, this is totally gross. It's kind of like tinges of red and orange. Oh, it's just horrible. Now, how is this relevant to anything? Well, imagine if that was your body. Imagine if this was the cells in your body. Yeah. Imagine if, hey, if this was the cells in your body. And conceivably, this could be the cells in a uh, disease, cells in a human being. So when we have hate for others and hate for ourselves, especially hate for ourselves, self-hatred, self-criticism, this is what we're doing to ourselves. We're breaking down our body. We're ruining our body. We're impeding our body's ability to function when we hate ourselves. Yeah. Imagine if this was a school, a school which had a culture of hate, or even a national culture which had a culture of hate. What would it do? That was the citizens. It would be the citizens, the, the morale, the emotional well-being of the citizens would break down. What if this was a company which had a, a culture of hate, of workplace bullying, of toxic workplace relations, uh, lost time injuries, um, just massive, you know, sort of corruption in that. What, imagine if that was a company that had a culture of hate. What would that do to the members in that, in that company? It would become toxic and the human beings in that company would eventually break down and eventually the company would break down and probably go bankrupt. Yeah, okay. Imagine if you had a, a school, an organization, a company, which had love at its core, had its values. Every day it was about love. People loved and nurtured and valued each other. Imagine that, what that would do to the individuals in that company, into that school, in that business. You know, imagine if you loved yourself, what, what it would do to the cells in your body. Yeah. How healthy would the cells of your body? And okay, we can just ignore, we can just be ignorant, and we can just go through life. And this is what happens when we ignore stuff. We just the natural process of life is, I guess, to decay. So if you want to slow things and build things up, love, love is the answer. Can you put love the core of your life? Can you love yourself? Can you love others unconditionally? Can you forgive and let go of the past? Because when you when you unconditionally forgive and let go of everybody in your life, that's that's where you can unlock that love for yourself. When you hate other people and maybe for what they've done to you, everybody hurts everybody at some stage and only hurt people really hurt other people. When you hate other people, really ultimately you're hating and destroying yourself because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between you and another person. So back to love, yeah? If you can can you bring love? into your life, into your own healing, into, in, unconditionally to, to your partner, your husband or wife, your girlfriend or boyfriend. Can you bring unconditional love towards them and enjoy the healing of that, yeah? Spoken to you on many levels, this, this, what, this rice experiment is a wonderful metaphor for, for life, for living, for how things, how, you know, I guess the laws of the universe work. This hate is a force. You know, the, the energy of hate, the vibration of hate does destroy, it does decay. So if we can take that to a global, look at a global consciousness and how that affects humanity then we just, just look at life and you know and how life is if we just ignore things and keep, but if we go with the intention of love this powerful powerful intention of love imagine imagine how our reality could be if we were to greet our enemies with love if we were to unconditionally love and forgive all people imagine how powerful and fantastic your life my life everyone's life on this earth would be yeah. this is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program you can heal your life now Oh yeah, have a good day.